Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a 10 minute booty band workout. You are going to need a booty band for this workout. Today I'm using a medium resistance fabric booty band, but you can use whatever you have access to at home. Make sure you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, we are going to start off with some banded side steps. So, slight bend in the knee, keeping the same level, taking two steps to the right and two steps to the left, making sure you're keeping tension on the band the whole time. Even when you bring your feet in, you should still feel that tension. Don't let those knees cave in. Good, 15 second rest. Your second exercise is some banded regular squats. So keeping the band where it is, same thing, making sure that you're pressing those knees outward, keeping the tension on the band, and coming down into your squat and back up. When you come up, we're not gonna stretch our legs all the way and hinge our hips, keeping a slight bend in the knees, tension on the band once again, and keeping the body angled slightly forwards. Good, 15 second rest. We're gonna repeat those two exercises before we move on. So starting off with those side steps. Ten more seconds. Keep those knees pressing outwards. Good work, 15 second rest. Moving on to our squats. Tension on the band. Slight bend in the knees, all the way down into your squat. Nice work. We are going to head to the ground. Moving on to our next superset, we're gonna do some banded glute bridges. So you can keep your band exactly where it is. Coming down on your back, same thing. Tension on the band, don't let those knees cave in. Press those knees outward. Press the hips up, squeeze, and control lower down. Make sure you're pressing those hips all the way up without arching your back. 
you want to pretend that not pretend you want to tuck the pelvis under i was going to say tuck your tail between your legs but we don't have tails so that wouldn't make sense you're going to tuck the pelvis under so that we're not arching the back and just focusing on squeezing the glutes good we're going to stay down here on the ground your next exercise is some lying abductions so you're gonna bring the knees in a little bit closer to your chest rather than having them straight out from the hips. Bring them in, you're gonna open the knees, putting pressure on the band, control, bring the knees in. Open and close. Really think about that mind to muscle connection. So thinking about those outer glutes, you should really feel those firing up. Good work. We are going to repeat those two exercises again. So down here on our back, still going for our glute bridges. Press those hips up, squeeze, control lower down. If you wanna increase the intensity here, you can press it all the way up, come halfway down, bring it back up, squeeze, and lower down. So we're doing like one and a half, almost like a little pulse at the top. work staying down here bringing the knees in closer to your chest so we're targeting those outer glutes try not to spend any time really here in this position where you're not putting tension on the band you want to keep the time under tension as long as possible so just bringing it back in to press it right back out again. Good work, moving on to our next superset. We're gonna flip it over into tabletop. We're gonna do 30 seconds on each leg, a donkey kick, take a 15 second rest, and then we'll do some kickbacks. So we're gonna start off with the right leg. Knee is bent, band is on. Pressing that heel up to the sky, control, bringing it in. Again, same thing, time under tension as long as possible. So don't spend any time down here at the bottom. Just coming right down and then pressing it right back up, heel to the ceiling. Good, we're gonna switch to the left leg right away. Make sure your hips are square so that left hip is still facing towards your mat. Good, taking a 15 second rest, we're gonna do the same thing, except this time our leg is going to be straight. So it's still gonna come in bent, 
but when you press it out, it's gonna be straight and you're still thinking about keeping that hip square to the ground, so you're really just using that glute. Getting ready for the left leg. That is it guys, great job. I hope you enjoyed this quick little 10 minute booty band workout. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, let me know in the comments. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.